Meet Caroline Nawira, a youthful entrepreneur who has dared to say bye bye to employment. She is earning her living from selling cakes, pastries, and juice at a shop that is located at Africana Mall. Caroline is originally from Nyeri. When I came to Lodwa, I was employed at a tours and travel agency where I later resigned. After that, I took a break of about two months where I decided to open an interior shop. It was called Kensington Interiors. Caroline says that although her first business hit a snag, going back to employment was not an option. She went ahead to start a cake baking shop with the skills she had acquired from her mom. I've always loved baking. My mom was a baker, so she used to tell me to do, you know, the hands-on and the manual baking skills and, you know, things for her. So later, um, I, I just asked myself, why not try? So in 2018, the month of August, I opened Tax Cake House. Um, we opened a small coffee shop. So I would bake from home and then sell my products, I'd carry them and sell them. Caroline says she has learned a lot on how to run this business by watching informative content on YouTube. She has also joined a baker's club for the purpose of networking. I buy the cake ingredients from Nairobi and Eldoret. There are several cake shops where we purchase our items from. And then we have them transported and we get to use them. But not all of them, some we buy from here. It is a business that requires focus and resilience, given that Caroline has to source our raw material from far. Lodwa is a hardship area. Not easy to get fresh fruit from here. She has to source them from town like Eldoret, but her clients keep her going. Based on where I started, I've received numerous new clients. I've retained most of my old clients, and I would actually be happy and proud to say that of late, most of my clients are the local people the people who live uh, in the interiors, so when they come to town, they usually find something to get from here, like a snack, and they are happy about it, they are happy about the quality, so that makes me feel good, knowing that I can also, and I am also um, selling my products to those people who are originally from here. Stax is one of the best uh, cake cows in Lodwa, Probably Lodwa town. I like coming here because uh, I get quality services uh, from uh, service and uh, in terms of getting the cake. The cake I like and uh, and they deliver in time. They don't have any delays. I normally come here for juices every day afternoon. Most probably by. Six, I come here to pick my juice every day and uh, getting uh, cakes for birthdays, weddings. We love stacks because the cake is so sweet and their service also is good. So you enjoy the cake and also you enjoy their, their warm welcoming. Caroline is a proud employer of four employees. Our employees they have day offs, so we we get to you know they get to get some rest, and we also get to continue doing the business um, full time. That is every day. We are open from seven in the morning until eight in the evening. Caroline Business is one of the many startups that are coming up in Lodwa a rapidly growing town in northern Kenya that is undergoing a major transformation in terms of infrastructure. 
The big lesson from Caroline's story is never give up. Caroline is a risk taker who has demonstrated that you can succeed if you are determined and focused. For Chums Media, my name is James Sekai.